Welcome to the second season of Living in a Bird House. If you are new here, hi, we are Jacob and Maggie. We sold our house, sold our company, and now live in our camper van, our bird house. For the past three months, we have been traveling along the Mediterranean coast, hunting for a property to homestead. We went to Italy, Croatia, Greece, and had many adventures. In the end, we were not able to find the right place. We did, however, find out where we do want to stay. But you can all see this in season one. There is a playlist on our channel with all 16 episodes. Now we are preparing for a new narrowed down destination. From our past journey, we have learned a lot. We have grown more confident in our lifestyle and have made some further improvements to our van. This makes life even more comfortable. But we will tell you more on this later. After all, living in a space no larger than an average walk-in closet needs some getting used to. A lot of people commented they want to see more of us. So we keep that promise. We added some advertisement to our camper because why not? The QR code directly brings you to our channel. We had seen firsthand how to do this in Split with the team from Too Fast. So we did almost a perfect job. So, we are leaving our holiday house. Yep, and uh, as you can hear, probably from the sound, it's raining. We consider this to be a good, good sign. Time. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's a good sign. <laughs> we are now, we are leaving this weather behind <laughs> and we're going to the sun. So we're walking to our bird house. Last couple of weeks we had really nice weather. But all of a sudden it's autumn. Well, I did start from our second trip. We started five to nine nine six. Bye bye, vacation house. Yeah. Hi. Do you want to help us? then please like our content and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Once again, we're on the road. We're going back to Italy, to Liguria. We are very confident, more confident than you were uh, last time we went. Now this time, it feels like home. We plan to arrive in Italy on Tuesday, Wednesday maybe. We're going to Germany, France, and then Italy. So we're not going to Switzerland because Liguria is on the west side of Italy. And it's better to approach it from France. And since we are a member of France Passion, we can stay for free in France at hundreds of farmer spots. And also we are a member of Landvergnügen which is the German version. Apparently, there's also a Swiss farmer camping network. That's all part of the FEFI, which is the uh, organization. FIFA? Let me break in here for a moment. Jacob is bambling. I mean, the lights are on, but there is nobody home. FIVA is a French organization that stands for Fédération Européenne de la Formule Invitation or the European Federation for the Formula of Invitation. We call this the Farmer Camper Network. The idea is simple. You are invited to stay for free at a farmer and in return you buy some of their goods. It's a brilliant concept, a classical win-win. The only thing the farmer asks is be nice. Say hello when you arrive and goodbye when you leave. 
Some have everything for the camper. Electricity, drinking water and grey and even black water discharge spots. It's available in 10 European countries. France, Germany, Denmark, Spain, Great Britain, Switzerland, Sweden, Austria, Norway and Italy. We are a member of the German, France and Italian network. Uh, it costs about 40 euros per country per year. And what we love about it is you're almost all the time in the middle of nature. Not on a parking lot, not on a camping, but at a farm. So, back to Jacob. Guten Tag, Herr Metz. Uh, wir sind Jakob und Maggie. Guten Tag. Wir fahren mit unserem Wohnmobil uh, und wir sind Mitglieder des uh, Landsvergnügen. Haben Sie noch einen Platz für uns übrig für heute Nacht? Mhm. Ähm, um 15.30 Uhr war etwas. Ja? Danke, danke sehr. Ja, okay, tschüss. So I just reserved the spot at the vineyard of Julian Metz. We found it on the Landvergnügen app. Next morning we wanted to boil some water for tea, but to our surprise no water came from the tap. This was bad news, because we filled it the day before. It could mean two things. Either we didn't close the drain tap properly, or we have a leak. Anyway, we needed to find a fresh water supply quickly. Luckily we found one, not very far away. We found a fresh water supply. It is also a free camper spot. Uh, I'm going to attempt to fill the water tank now. It says alles undicht, which means you have to tighten it really well. And um, I have this device, Fiskars device which is brilliant. It's brilliant on its own because it has all the little bits you need to attach it to any kind of water system. It has a hose and it has 50 meters. So I can detach this one and then attach it here. Connect this one here. Can connect it to here. Look. Allegedly, I need one euro. I have a euro. Do I have a euro? I have a euro. Let's hope this works. It works, it works. <laughs> we wrote about it in the review. Yeah, yeah. So the tank is almost full. And no problems for now. So we will wait. There are no leaks. Hopefully it's uh, not a leak in the system. One drop. Hmm. Plan for today is that we are leaving Germany. We have had a wonderful 24 hours in Germany. <laughs> Actually, we spent one night at a nice meadow. 
it was quiet and uh, yeah we felt safe that's good we do not want to drive more than five six hours so we want to try to be somewhere stationary this afternoon at around three o'clock hopefully there will still be water when we arrive otherwise we'll have a big problem let me show you where we will try to be at the end of the day So, end of the day, let's check to see, yep, whew, lucky, it is full. So it was the drainage tap here, here, I didn't close properly, but uh, luckily we have no leak. It is day four. We are en route to Marseille. So we will probably see the sea or maybe we will not see the sea today. Oops. <laughs> That's what you get from secondary roads. Uh, yesterday we spent a quiet night on the winery Le Champ Fleury. And that's uh, at the end of the Beaujolais. And uh, well, it's still uh, a France Passion uh, camper spot. We had yesterday a nice uh, wine tasting. We could try some wine from the vineyard here. We have, we have a bottle of Ammonite. We bought a bottle, Ammonite. It's an uh, old wine. At least the wine is not old, but the, the grapes are old. You can see that there are very old uh, trees.
the sunny side.